before you set up an ancestor altar, these are three tips that I think would help you. Atapu fam, peace and blessings. Um, this is Derek Rucko Moore, and I wanted to do a short little video to help those who are sincerely interested in honoring their ancestors. Um, uh, before you go ahead and you honor your ancestors, three tips that I think would help you um, in this practice, okay? Um, the whole purpose of going ahead and doing this video is mainly because, again, there's a lot of information that is on the internet. Um, it is to the point that ancestor veneration has become such a trendy topic that... Um, it has almost become dogmatic, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is there's people who are actually, you know, talking or telling people, well, you know, the way you're honoring your ancestors is incorrect, um, it's wrong, and so forth and so on, okay? Um, that is just incorrect, okay? Ancestor veneration is a very complex topic. It's a very complex subject. Um, the reason why it is so complex and, and such a complex uh, subject is mainly because of cultural differences. The way people honor their ancestors in China is completely different from the way people honor their ancestors over here in the Americas. The way they honor in the Americas is completely different from the way they honor in um, they honor in Africa, in the continent of Africa. Okay, there is no one way of honoring your ancestors. And um, that's where, like I said, that's where a lot of the confusion is coming from. So that's the whole purpose of going ahead and doing this video to kind of help those um, before you go ahead and you honor your ancestors, before you set up an ancestor altar. These are three tips that I think would help you. Okay. The first tip, before you set up an ancestor altar, before you begin honoring your ancestors, what I think you ought to do, and this again, this is based upon my experience and based upon my perspective. Um, but the first thing you need to do is determine what type of psychic medium you are. Okay. Um, what I mean by psychic medium is that we all have some type of psychic ability. Um, there are four major psychic, um, psychic skills. They are emotional psychic mediums. Um, there's clairvoyance, there's mental, and there's also physical, okay? Um, you can go on the internet and you can find out which, you know, there's plenty of tests that you can take, uh, online tests that you can take that have helped you determine what type of psychic medium you are. Um, the whole purpose of you going ahead and wanting to find out what type of psychic medium you are is because here in the West, here in the Western culture and Western, Western hemisphere, uh, we have been so indoctrinated with disbelief about our true self that um, it's really hard for us to discern when our true self or when our ancestors or spirits are talking um, versus when we're just having mental thoughts, we're just thinking about something or it's our ego, okay? So the whole purpose of going ahead and finding out um, what type of psychic medium you are is because you want to find out how do messages come to you? All messages do not come to us all the same way. Some of us receive messages by just going by just touching things or by feeling or they can come across someone and they can kind of get a sense of how that individual is feeling emotional some emotion um, get their emotions and what have you. Um, Another way is, you know, some people go in and receive messages by, you know, by looking at things. They can touch things or whatever, um, or don't, not, not necessarily even have to touch things, but they can go in here and they will have mental images that come to their mind. Um, there are some people who go in here and they receive messages by, you know, by smell, some by sound, um, some by dreams, okay? Uh, dreams and, and psychic visions and what have you okay so again there's like i said there's four major ones so you want to go ahead and find out which one is your major skill what's your major attribute okay what's your major psychic attribute um and once you go ahead and you find that out you know jot that down 
Okay, now that brings us to tip two. The second thing you ought to do, once you go ahead, before you set up your ancestor altar, before you start honoring your ancestors, the second thing you need to do is develop that skill, okay? If you receive messages through dreams, then you might want to keep a dream journal. You might want to go ahead and start jotting, jotting down uh, all the different dreams and what have you, so that you can start to understand the symbolic messages that are being given to you by your ancestors and spirit guides. Um, if you are, for instance, if you receive messages by touch, you might want to go ahead and see which touch, you know, how does the, how does that message come to you? Which, what are the certain things or what are the things that go ahead and trigger that touch, you know? So you want to spend about a month or so at least trying to figure out what type of psychic medium or how that skill is and you want to, like I said, you want to develop it, okay? You want to go ahead and develop it, fine tune it so that you can, again, so that you know when it's actually, when it's kicking in and you're not being confused by your own thoughts and what have you, okay? The third step, the final step or final tip um, that I think that you should do before you begin honoring your ancestors and before you set up an ancestor altar is test it out. Okay. Um, when we talk about spirituality, everything that we deal with in regards to spirituality it is a technology. We don't just do things superstitiously because, oh yeah, this is what they do. Okay. Or this is what this person did or whatever. We always test it out. So the third tip, before you set up your ancestor altar, before you set up your, uh, before you begin honoring your ancestors, is to test it out. If you believe or if you found out or discovered that you are a clairvoyant, um, then you want to go ahead and see, okay, let's test it out. Let's see when those messages come to you. Go ahead and try to do those or try to see if you can get those messages um, um, deliberately, you know. Uh, see if you can go in here and you can ask questions and if you can actually pick up psychic, you know, information or intuitive information uh, by wheel. OK, uh, so test it out. OK, um, test out all of your skills. OK, now the thing I want to also mention is that, like I said, there's four major, four major psychic medium skills that we all, you know, that there that exist. Um, one of those psychic medium skills are going to be, it's going to be your dominant. Um, most of us, we have probably two or three, but you're always, you always have one dominant, okay? So you want to go ahead, and like I said, you want to test it out. You want to make sure that you find out. Let me go back over that again. You want to make sure, again, find out which type of psychic medium you are. Second, um, develop that skill. And then third, test it out, okay? Once you go ahead and you do that, you'll be able to know, or you will know how messages come to you uh, when your ancestors and spirit gods are speaking to you. Um, you can go ahead and also determine, um, you know, whenever you're receiving um, messages or information from negative spirits or so, okay? And that will help you out before you actually, and that's, like I said, that's what I think you should do before you go ahead and begin honoring your ancestors um, and your spirit guides, okay? Um, hopefully this help. Hopefully that helps you um, and it will give you a little bit more insight into that. Okay, it is a very, you know, powerful, very spiritual, very beautiful practice. But you have to go ahead and, like I said, keep those things in mind. Okay. Um, again, hopefully that helps you. Um, if you have any questions, drop me a line. Uh, we'll see you later. Head to Pooh.